It's not silence. Science, not silence. Lucky Tran, why are you protesting? Science shouldn't be political. Science has always been political. Think about climate change, GMOs, vaccines, public health. That's all political. Oh, I guess those things have been political, but if we start protesting and getting too political, won't the public think that we're biased in our science? Well, I think it's really important because science is under attack right now. That's why I'm on the committee for the March for Science. So we're going to march in the streets um, because, you know, scientists are being banned from coming into the country to do their work. They're being gagged and the government is spouting alternative facts. That's all political stuff we have to stand against. So I guess the doing of science isn't political, but when science is under attack, we have to do something about it. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the important thing to remember is why do scientists do science? It's to, you know, really help everyone. So scientists look for cures. They look for medicine. They build better entertainment. They build the internet. Yeah, absolutely. And, and they research <laughs> the natural world around us to help us understand how to care for this planet. So all of that is really important stuff that benefits all of us. So when it's under attack for private or political interests, we shouldn't like be ashamed about it. We should proudly stand up and stand for everyone. So it's not just scientists that should come to the Science March. I guess it's everyone that benefits from science, which is everyone. Yeah, it should be all of us. We should all go into the streets. So if you're a person, come to the March for Science. It's on April 22nd. This is how you sign up. I'll see you in DC.